Hello there, YouTube. Your buddy Tony Dubs here with another exciting edition of Do 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 Ghostbusters 2016 Watch. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I wasn't gonna make another Ghostbusters video, but then some more bullshit happened. Surprise, surprise. And I felt like my ever so important opinion needed to be bestowed upon you fine people. So here we are again. Uh, hopefully for the last time, the way things are looking, probably not. We'll just leave it at that. So anyways, um, instead of putting my ugly mug on the screen here, because um, number one, I'm not feeling all that beautiful today. You know, I'm having one of those days. My, my vagina is bleeding a little bit. Um, <laughs> my mangina, excuse me, is, is slightly bloody and uh, I'm not feeling very pretty. So I'm not going to subject uh, you feminists and other folks as such out there to my neck-bearded appearance. Instead, today I will be I will be represented by uh, this little guy here. So, uh, and we look a lot alike too. You know, if he had a beard, that would be me. So there you go. Okay. So what is the reason for me making yet another a third Ghostbusters 2016 video? Well, the reason is uh, number one. I had a revelation yesterday about all this mess, um, which I'll get to in a minute. But number two, and probably most importantly, um, fellow nerd and respected um, critic, whatever you want to call him, James Rolfe, the video game nerd, the angry video game nerd, released a video yesterday about how he is not impressed with the trailers he's seen so far. Um, he doesn't feel like they've done the Ghostbusters namesake, the franchise, any justice. Therefore, he has no desire to see this this remake, reboot, whatever you want to call it. He's not interested. He didn't even mention, really, the female cast except to say, what are we supposed to call this movie? Uh, the female Ghostbusters, or are we supposed to call the original the male Ghostbusters? Uh, you know, what's the deal with that? But basically, that's all he said. He didn't, you know, there was no misogyny. There was no sexism. There was no hatred of anything other than the fact that he just feels like it doesn't look like a very good movie. It looks like a cash in, a cash grab, which is 98% of the people out there criticizing this movie so far are saying the same fucking things. Which brings me to my number one reason is I really believe that everything that's happened with this, um, the revelation I had, is that this is going to be feminism's swan song. Let that sink in for a second. Now, I say that because... not Well, not because I think that this movie is going to ruin feminism. I don't think it's... That's, you know, feminism, SJW, social justice, whatever you want to call it, that's not going anywhere anytime soon. But... I think that this movie is going to, and the reaction that people are having to it, is going to start to show a lot of people who are on the fence, who kind of like, hey, what's this What's this movement all about? You know, uh, it's going to start to show those people this wave of feminism's true colors when it comes to stuff like this. These people that have been on the fence for a while are going to see the reactions of the people on the feminism side of it, and they're going to see the reactions on, I don't really mean to call it this, but the, the the rational side of it. The people that are looking at this movie just based on its merits, just based on what we know about it. But take note that we're not seeing anything about the female cast other than, like myself said, it seemed a little too gimmicky, a little too much like they're pushing an agenda, um, trying to convey some kind of political message, which the most recent trailer makes it seem like that sentiment is kind of right. But that's pretty much it from our side of it. Now, you can go on YouTube and you can look at the comments of the, the trailers and it's Troll City. That's what YouTube is. YouTube comment section is a troll's playground. I don't know why they all flock there, but they do. And a troll's number one uh, mission in life is to get a rise out of people. So, of course, they're going to fucking uh, display misogyny and sexism because they know it works. But I think it's important for the feminists out there, the SJWs out there, to understand the difference. To be honest about it. Because not being honest about it and going out there and saying that people are only hating on this movie because of the female leads um, just makes you all look so bad. It makes you look so bad. And you, you guys want to go out there and you want to say um, James Ralph is a, a whiny man baby? 
Um, saying stuff like that has the opposite effect. Normal people <laughs> that don't keep up with all this feminism versus MRA bullshit see something like that and they're like, what? You know, like, why are you calling this guy names? And then if they decide to look into it a little further, they'll see that, well, he just kind of said he's not interested in the movie. You know, why are you making such a big deal out of that? You know, he didn't say anything about the sexes of the fucking people. He didn't say anything about the genders. In fairness, said man baby is a film reviewer, so this isn't a case of a man bravely stepping into the Twitter sphere and telling his 34 followers that he won't be seeing the all-female Ghostbusters. The only people that are making this about gender are the fucking feminists. Nobody who has been honest about what about this so far has said anything about that. Ghostbusters never heard of her. That's so fucking stupid. Also, Harold Ramis is dead, and Han Solo and Chewie aren't in it. This whole thing gets pretty weird. Dude, it was a fucking... And look, I love James Rolfe. I love his videos, but... It was a boring fucking video, dude. You're making way more out of it than there needs to be. And this is all part of that swan song thing I'm talking about. You guys and ladies out there, you don't care if this movie is good or bad. You don't look at any other merits besides they're just females. And that's very, very, very bad. Because look, if that's all you need for your movies, get ready for a lot of shitty fucking movies. And here's here's, here's the biggest thing. Because whenever... Uh, the critics start coming out about this movie and hopefully they'll be honest about it and they start saying, oh, it's not that great and you all are going to come back whining that they just didn't like it because they're all fucking sexist, which is furthest fr thing from the fucking truth. People see you guys reacting that way to honest criticism when the real critics start coming out and saying this shit, you're done. You're fucking done. Hollywood is not going to take you serious anymore. Uh, uh, fucking uh, normal... Casual moviegoers aren't going to take you serious anymore. Because right now you got them. You're going to convince a bunch of people they have to support this all-female Ghostbusters. You have to do it. You have to support it. Because it's it's progress. It's a step in the right direction. Even though we've had Star Wars, uh, two Star Wars movies now that have a female lead. Uh, Mad Max, Fury Road, and a bunch of others that my green clouded uh, brain cannot fucking think of right now. Uh, but you know, and I know, that they're out there. You know, there's strong female leads all over the place these days. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's fucking awesome. I love it. So secret, I love Grey. I love the chicken rogue one. I'm all about it. But those merits alone do not a good movie make. If all Hollywood needs to do is just put some females in the lead roles and just churn out movies like a rabbit having babies... Like, that's what they're going to do. And we're going to be left with a shit ton of horrible movies. And I would really hope you all could be at least honest, uh, intellectually honest for once, and admit that you don't want that. You want strong female leads in movies. That's a good thing. But do you really want them, want them to be shitty movies? Do you really want these strong female leads to be leading horrible fucking movies? Let me get face to face with you. Is that really what you want? You want your strong female leads to be the leads in a movie, whether it's good or bad. And let's not get it twisted here. Um, if this was an all-male movie with the same jokes, uh, the same uh, pacing that we've seen in the trailers, everything was still the same, people would still be shitting on it because you got a beloved franchise here. It doesn't matter the women. Look, when people vote bot and vote brigade, I can't say that word for some reason, um, videos on YouTube, you don't get a half a million downvotes. You know, if that was the case, if it was only the trolls, if it was only the sexist trolls uh, disliking a movie on YouTube, uh, it would be a lot less. Trust me, it would. And it's been proven that Sony deletes actual criticism from their comments, again, because they know they've made a shitty movie and they know the only hope they have of selling tickets to this thing is if they guilt trip people into seeing it because, oh, at least the females are in it. Give me a fucking break. Uh, but the really important thing to take uh, to take not of here is that while he's trying to savage a film for not giving us the Han Solo and Chewie on the Millennium Falcon moment without seeing the damn thing, he also very very specifically doesn't mention doesn't mention God the all female cast. Of course he doesn't mention it because he doesn't give a fuck. None of us give a fuck. Why can't you understand that? Like we're uh, happy. To have female leads if it's if it's a good movie. 
gosh, man, it's just, I don't understand where the fucking divide happened. Like, how can you honestly look at those trailers? Especially the first one. Look, the newest one that came out today looks okay. There's still a couple corny jokes in there, but it looks better. I'm still not going to pay to see it, but it looks better. But if you can honestly look at that first trailer and the international trailer and not understand why people are worried about this movie, you can still be excited for it, you know, you can, you can, but you could say, hey, you know what, I understand that this type of humor may not be for everybody, so I can understand why some people are, or I can understand that um, people have had this expectation of a new Ghostbusters movie for over 25 years, have been wanting it and wanting it and begging for it, and have a specific idea in their mind of what Ghostbusters is supposed to be, but clearly this, this isn't it. So I can understand these points people are making. But you can't do that. You want to defend this movie so bad. But you have no other grounds to defend it. Other than the female leads. That's it. You got nothing. So whenever somebody has real criticisms about it. That really bothers you. Because you really want this movie to be good. I understand it. I wanted it to be good. Just for the Ghostbusters sake alone. Look I was gung ho. For the hoes. <laughs> <laughs> I was gung-ho for the whole busters, you know? And I'm sorry, I'm not, that's just me being silly. I don't really think they're hoes. I actually I actually quite enjoy what uh, each of those ladies do. These are all great female actors, comedic female actors. But they are capable of being in a bad movie. As you Again, you want to talk about people whining and complaining. I mean, uh, all I'm seeing on this side is criticism. All I'm seeing on your side is boo! They don't like the women Ghostbusters. What a bunch of sexist. When women Ghostbusters is hardly the concern. Anyways, rant right aside. It seems like an absurd, absurd oversight when critiquing this film to not mention the gender swap. But it's in fact a very calculated decision that allows Rolf and his supporters to fight off criticism by claiming correctly that he didn't even mention the casting while simultaneously blowing on his dog whistle till he's fucking blue in the face. So yeah, Twitter has positively erupted. It looks like the whole thing began with Pat, uh, Pat Oswalt's tweet. And this, is, this one kind of bugged me a lot because I used to be a huge fan of this guy. And I probably was up until I saw this. Pat Oswalt on Twitter. I really wanted to hate this Cinemasker Ghostbusters review. It's not a review. It's just him talking about not being interested in the movie. Uh, but I'm such a fan of noisy, thick saliva swallowing it won my heart. You don't want to admit that his criticisms are probably correct, so you just, you know, insult the guy. I understand. Pat Oswalt, you're a piece of shit. Adam Protois. Pro2? Proto? Prototype? Hey, males. Suffering from GRR, Ghostbusters remake, rage, simply undergo puberty. If symptoms persist for more than four hours, call a doctor. Ha ha ha, you're so funny. Uh, again, how about you actually argue... Um, the criticisms instead of just insulting somebody. You guys are making a straw man. That person doesn't exist. Not really. You're fucking taking trolls that Sony has highlighted on their YouTube channel to draw your attention to them to play on your fucking emotions. And you're running with it. And you're ignoring the valid arguments that are out there, which far outweigh and far outnumber the idiots. No, we're not scared of ghosts. We're scared of bad movies. And you should be too. If you, if you like it, you like it. That's fine. But if you see it, and there's any part of you that's like, wow, that wasn't that great, and you don't speak up on that, you're basically letting Hollywood know that all they need to do to sell a movie these days is put some females in it and send it out the door. And that's a disservice to females. That's a disservice to feminists. It's a disservice to movies, movie fans, and all that. It's, it's not a good place to go. And for some uh, further evidence, I guess you could call it, on why I believe that uh, this Ghostbusters fiasco controversy is the beginning of the end of uh, feminists being taken seriously. The feminism swan song, if you will. I got a few, a few examples here from, uh, from one of our favorite places in the whole wide world, that place we all know and love called Tumblr. Queer Holtzman writes... So, a very vocal percentage of nerds 
were begging for a Ghostbusters sequel, pretty much since Ghostbusters 2. It's been moldering in development hell for decades. I remember it stopping and starting again every five years or so. Now they have one, albeit in reboot form, but suddenly they're whining about how unoriginal Hollywood is being? Hmm, gee golly gosh, I wonder why. And uh, one of her hashtags there is uh, probably sexism, so we understand where this is coming from. Um, but let me explain something to you. Let me mansplain some shit to you there, Queer Holtzman. The reason people are upset about this is because it's a lazy reboot. Not because of the females. You've got a movie which again, was at the time a very original concept. Um, it's been a beloved franchise ever since. People have been begging, like you said, for a new Ghostbusters movie. Instead of giving the people the Ghostbusters movie that they wanted, they went and completely trashed those, like, those other ones don't exist anymore. Uh, we're sorry, we know you guys wanted to see a Passing of the Torch. You know, you wanted to see a new uh, movie based in that same universe. Um... But we're sorry, that audience, you guys don't matter to us anymore. The audience that matters to us are the feminists and the SJWs of the world. And we're going to go pander them, to them for a little bit now. Because we can sell them shitty movies. <laughs> we can sell them a shitty movie simply by putting females in the lead roles and they'll buy it just because they don't, wanna, uh, they don't want their fellow feminists to think that they're sexist. Nobody wanted a lazy reboot. Again, they could have fucking done a continuation of the story with all females. That doesn't matter. So here's another wonderful person here. Um, Escape from Alcatraz, I think, on uh, the old Twitter there. Can I just... Or not Twitter, uh, on the old Tumblr there. Can I just say, I was indifferent towards the new Ghostbusters reboot when I first heard about it coming out last year. I thought, hey, maybe I'll see it if I have free time, but it won't bother me if I don't see it. But since men have been screeching like, oh my god, women starring in this originally male film? The nerve. This can't happen. I will now make sure my punk ass is in the theater, watching the new Ghostbusters on July 15th. Nice straw man, by the way. I love that, because, I mean, you know. If you can point me to where anybody has said any of that, I'll give you a cookie. I'll make sure I post how amazing the movie is on Facebook and Twitter as well. But what if the movie sucks? Are you going to say it's good? You know, just because you're afraid to say it sucks. I'm sure my sexist family members will enjoy that. Smiley face, smiley face, smiley face, smiley face, smiley face. But honestly, how many re reboots has Hollywood done? Like 500 at least? Um, and she goes on, he or she, I guess, uh, goes on to name a bunch of these movies. And there's another article, I think the Amazing Atheist talked about it in his most recent video. Um, which basically goes through the same shit. So basically, this person hasn't had an original thought in her, his or her fucking life. I mean, this, this is totally almost verbatim the points they made in that article. And basically, I'll just say what, what uh, TJ said is uh, you got Batman, Spider-Man, Superman, all comic book characters. Whenever a new movie is made about them, that's not necessarily a reboot. I mean, I guess it is in the movie world, but really they're just drawn from the same source material. Um, you know, they just say, Hey, Batman, it's a character everybody knows and loves. You know, it's not like they're taking something that was exclusively a movie and redoing it. You know, there's so many Batman stories, so many Spider-Man and Superman stories that can be drawn from to make new movies. You know, that's kind of what they do. Planet of the Apes. Uh, everybody hated the Tim Burton Planet of the Apes back in, I think it was 2000 or 99 when it came out. Everybody hated it. If YouTube would have been around back then, I'm sure it would have been lambasted the same as Ghostbusters has been doing. Uh, TMNT, again, same with uh, Spider-Man, Superman, and all that. You know, it's comic books. You know, just they just draw from that. And plus, there's been tons of different iterations. You get the cartoons, comic books have had several different incarnations of the turtles. Uh, every do Disney, do I don't even see how that counts because those are based on old fables or whatever. You know, they're... Th who cares? <laughs> is what I'm trying. You know, it's it's children's stories. It's old fables and fairy tales and shit like that. You know, uh, but no one freaks about a reboot until the cast changes from four men with penises to four women with vaginas. Like I hate this planet. <sighs> Again, show me someone that's not a troll, someone that's actually doing legit criticism. Show me how they're talking about women. <laughs> you know that they're not happy with the women. Uh, don't just show me some fucking trolls that are trying to get a rise out of you because those people don't count. Those people are assholes. Everybody knows it. 
you know, they're there to fucking piss you off, and that's what they're doing. Uh, but they are not the majority. Here's one, uh, a brilliant post from Fauna Fauna. The original Ghostbusters wasn't even any kind of film masterpiece. Like, it's still the same movie with a scene where Dan Aykroyd gets head from a ghost and scaled back its sole black character when he was deemed too qualified when compared to the white characters. There is absolutely some seedy misogyny going on with this fan outcry. Again, where? What are you talking about? I don't even understand uh, scaled back its sole black character when he was deemed too qualified when he compared to the white characters. What does that even mean? Could you explain how he was more qualified or too qualified? Uh, he was pretty much hired on the spot to do the job. Um, his job in the movie uh, was an everyman, uh, was to be somebody who wasn't a scientist to can go on, to kind of represent the audience going along on this ride with these uh, scientists who, who have known about the paranormal will, uh, world with this guy who is new to it. Uh, that was his purpose in the movie. So I don't know what you're saying there. Uh, but we're going to find out quite soon that I don't think this person knows what they're talking about probably 90% of the time. So here's another one from Fauna Fauna. I want to see Ghostbusters 2016 in theaters. But I'm scared that some shitlord dude is going to buy a ticket just to boo at and heckle the whole film. Nobody does that. I'm sorry. Nobody's going to buy a ticket just to go in and boo and heckle the film. I just want to take my mother and sister to see a female-led sci-fi movie, but I'm potentially fearing for our safety because some shitty dude causing a scene at a Ghostbusters 2016 screening is entirely possible. Is it, though? Is it really? What world do you live in? Can I just walk around in your shoes for one day and and just understand where this shit's coming from? I don't even think I would last a day. I would just get I would get sick at how sensitive you fuckers are. But I would just like to know where you're getting this shit from. Um, first of all, you want to take your mother and sister to see a female-led sci-fi movie. Why didn't you take them to Star Wars: The Force Awakens? Um, Star Wars Rogue One comes out in a, a few months too. Um, you take her to see that. You make no sense, Fauna Fauna. And I hope I never really encounter you in real life. I'm just, you know, I'm going to stay far away from you because, uh, frankly, you scare me. And finally, in the midst of all the nonsense and craziness on Tumblr, finally someone speaks some truth. And it happens to be a female. Belle of Stark's Tower from Tumblr. I can't wait for Ghostbusters to hit theaters so that it will bomb and we can stop freaking talking about it. I'm seriously ready to throw my freaking ovaries at every person who claims only men dislike this reboot. I wanted a female Ghostbusters, but I wanted a good one. Not this crap. That is, quite frankly, pretty misogynistic itself. If you don't believe me, look at how they are treating their version of Janine who was a strong, confident, badass woman who was never treated as eye candy for the men. The hashtag girls against Ghostbusters reboot. And she's right. Janine was a strong female character. was a powerful female character. She didn't take shit from any of those guys. But instead, they're going to replace her in the upcoming movie with, with, with a bonehead. <laughs> with a moron. Chris Hemsworth, again, is not really a moron in real life, I don't think. But in the movie, the character he plays... From the newest trailer was released today, seems kind of moronic, you know, and that's kind of what, uh, again, another reason I believe that this movie is specifically pandering to the feminist demographic. The one male, I guess, lead in the movie is a complete buffoon, you know? How is that not sexist? You know, equality doesn't mean we just switch everything over, you know, equality means we meet in the fucking middle. So, uh, Belle of Stark's Tower, I'm with you. You're awesome. Um, James Rolfe, I'm with you, buddy. Um, I will not be seeing this movie. Not because of the lead characters are women. I don't care if they're male or female. As long as it's a good movie. As long as the characters are portrayed well. That's all that matters. And I would challenge. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to issue this challenge. If you, if you still want to be taken seriously as a movement. Feminists, SJWs, listen to me. If you want people that aren't part of your movement to take you seriously, you're going to have to be honest about this movie. And you're going to have to be honest about the people critiquing it. 
Because if you're not, people are just going to turn their backs on you. And honestly, I hope that's what happens because I think you guys are all a little bit silly, you know? But I'm speaking to you as one person to another. You can't keep going out there and calling people like James Ralph uh, an MRA, a fucking uh, whiny man baby. Uh, You can't do this because it's making you all look worse. You've got somebody who's talking rationally, who just makes an innocent video, a fairly boring video, just straight-faced, telling you that he doesn't like what he sees. But then you've got... Oh my God, you sexist, misogynist motherfucker coming from your side. Do you not see how that looks bad? Do you not see how that is? So I challenge you, go see this movie if you want to see it, but be honest about it when you do. You don't have to praise a movie just because they're female lead characters. As a matter of fact, you should be harder on those movies so that they make better movies with female lead characters. Because if you you go and you see fucking Ghostbusters and it's mediocre, but you still say it's great, then... They're just not going to try. Like I've said a million times already, they're not going to try anymore. They're going to be like, oh shit, we want to make uh, some quick money. All we have to do is throw some female leads in it and tell people they're sexist if they don't like it. And there you go. Is that really how you want shit to go? Is that really how you want this world of yours that you've envisioned of powerful women in movies and video games and shit? Is that really how you want it to be? No honest person has critiqued these trailers or what we know about this movie by saying anything about the females other than it's a gimmick. And that's becoming more and more apparent with how this narrative is being drafted by not only Sony, but you feminists out there that won't allow people to have an honest opinion about this movie. So there, you know, July 15th, uh, go see it if you feel so inclined. As for myself, and apparently as for James Ralph, the angry video game nerd, we will both be setting this one out. Are you going to go see it? Uh... Do you feel the same way I do? Do you disagree with me? Put it in the comments below. I will engage. I will talk to you down there. We'll have it out. We'll debate. As long as you're civil, if you come over here screaming sexism, I'm going to block you, and you're going to be gone. That's all it is. If you come over here saying sexist shit against female Ghostbusters, you're out. But if you can come and have a civil discussion, uh, whether you're a feminist, whether you're not a feminist, whatever, Go to the comments below. We'll talk about it. Maybe try to come to an understanding. Whatever. So thanks for watching. And um, please subscribe. Please hit that like button. Follow me on social media. And uh, until the next one, fuck off, I guess.